The Hammonds are a family of ranchers in Oregon who have taken over a federal building with the help of the Bundys. I don't know if you remember the Bundys from uh, Nevada. They were also ranchers who were uh, screwed over by the government and fought back and won. And now they're going to win this. And I don't understand why more people aren't excited about it. Is it because they look like boring white people? You know that if these guys were dressed like the Black Panthers and look like the Black Panthers, everyone would be getting tattoos of them. Are you eight years old? Why does everyone have to look so cool for you to support them? You voted for a cool president and a cool prime minister and, they, and are currently ignoring the qualified people because they're not in a band and they don't hang out with the Fonz. Grow the fuck up, you dildos. The Hammond family is inspiring. They are rebels. They are punk rockers. Here's the story with the Hammonds. They live on land in Oregon that was founded by ranchers. All right. Everyone, everything that's good about this country was made by the people. The government doesn't do anything. All they do is hamper us and get in our way. So they built this beautiful land. Theodore Roosevelt took it over and said, this is Indian land. What? There's no Indians here for miles. Uh, and it's a bird reserve. What? A bird? Because the ranchers made it so nice. Birds tended to congregate there. So he takes it over. And ranchers still survive. They, they buy their land off the government. They buy the rights to graze on government land. And eventually, some ranchers start to make a living from it. They're not rich fat cats, you turds. And they do so well that they are a thriving community despite government intervention. Eventually, the government notices this, and they notice that the land has value, intrinsic value that they want to mine. And, by the way, having a reserve is more government jobs. So the more they impede these ranchers' lives, the more money they make. And so they start terrorizing the ranchers. And it works. They say, sell your place, sell your place. No, no, no. They make it so hard for these people to survive that they have to sell, sell their place for a song. And then the government keeps taking over. One family refused to sell. That was the Hammonds. They held on to their land. And the government kept pushing, kept oppressing them, kept tyrannizing them. And I don't understand why more people haven't heard of this. This is what the government does to people in the country. What's what they do to ranchers. It's what they do to farmers. The Bundys were not unusual. The Hammonds are not unusual. Every day you hear about wetland fines and the EPA is fi finding someone 75 grand a day because they drain some marsh on their property. Look, if you like wetlands and you like marshes, leave it up to hunters. They've done way more for the environment than any government could ever do. You got guys living on trailers on their own land. If you want to live off the grid today on your own land with solar panels, they call it camping, and that's illegal. So the Hammonds are dealing with this bullshit, and the government is, uh, they, at one point, they sort of make the infrastructure impossible such that the Hammonds can't get to the top of their land, and their cattle can't get up there, and they're, they're told they have to build fences because now the cattle can't graze anymore. And if they go up to the top of their land, their land they're trespassing on government roads. This keeps going and keeps going, and they're just waiting for them to slip up. And you know in a country where everything is illegal, they're always going to catch you on some crime. This is probably illegal. I don't know. This isn't probably the FDA-approved mic. I might be spreading germs, and I could go to jail right now. So the Hammonds draw a line in the sand, and they say, we're not listening to your bullshit anymore. We're going to continue our life as ranchers, and we're not... When you barricade the road to prevent us from going to our own land, we're going to remove the barricades, which they do, which really pisses off the government. Giant fire happens on their land. <laughs> Thousands of acres, I believe, are at stake, burning up. They do a backfire. Now, I'm not totally certain how backfires work, but I believe it's uh, to you draw a carbon strip in the land so the fire can no longer spread. By the way, forest fires are great for the environment. It's a natural process. That's why they exist. That's why lightning starts fires. It, it's what pine cones use to, to explode, I think. <laughs> it's how pine trees breed. Anyway, they get fined for arson for this, and they go to prison for this. They, like, it's conceivable that ranchers just randomly light their land on fire for fun. And then they get out of jail, and the government goes, wait a minute, we have a minimum fine, a minimum prison term thing we're doing now, so you have to go back into jail. 
there's a demonstration for this. And the Bundys attend. The Bundys, by the way, uh, were oppressed by the government that because their cattle was prevented from grazing and they were threatening the desert tortoise or some shit. So they had a standoff with the government and they had the guns in their hands, by the way. this When you have no guns and you go up against society and you occupy Wall Street, you get mace in your face. When you have guns and you go up against society, they leave. The government pussied out of of fighting the Bundys, thank God. And I pray we don't have another Waco and the government pussies out of this because I want these fucking people to win. So the Bundys, having succeeded in Nevada, they go up and they say, not only are we having a peaceful protest here, but we're gonna have a peaceful occupation. And I assumed everyone else would go, yeah, let's do this. This is like when the Indians took over Alcatraz. Everyone says it was AIM, it wasn't AIM, it was uh, Indians of all tribes, I think they were called. They occupied Alcatraz because they considered it Indian land. It was a brilliant move. The hippies ended up screwing it up by getting too high and having accidents, some kid died, and eventually the government choked them out by cutting off the power. But that was a brilliant revolutionary move that everyone thought was cool. The Hammonds aren't cool, so no one's supporting it, even though what they're doing is amazing. We live in a society where everyone likes Che Guevara because he's handsome, even though he killed 3,000 people, including gays just for being gay. But no one likes Norman Borlaug, who saved a billion lives with hybrid corn. This is another uncool revolution where the Hammonds are standing up to the government with the Bundys and saying, we're sick of you pushing Americans around and we're mad as hell and we're not gonna take it anymore. 